Hey guys, look, this is the Kodama Obsidian 3D printer. I'm gonna tell you how I got it, which is an interesting story. And then uh, I'm gonna tell you what I think of it so far and how you can get it. First, how the heck did I get this thing? Well, Michael from Kodama contacted me and said, hey, can I send you the V2 prototype of our Obsidian 3D printer? I unboxed it live on my Twitch channel, which you can go to if you go to twitch.tv slash Joel Telling, that's me. You, uh, if you were there, you saw that I had some crazy issues with it and the machine just didn't work. I think it was a matter of heat creep and it was bad, it was bad, bad, bad. So I talked to Michael, he booked a ticket to Seattle and in his checked luggage was the V3 prototype of the Obsidian 3D printer. He, he just came up today and he dropped this off and we took 45 minutes leveling it, getting it right, starting some prints. This is working better than the white prototype. So I get to evaluate this one. While Michael was here, we did have the chance to talk in front of the camera. Here you go. Hey everyone, uh, you know me as Joel, the 3D printing nerd next to me. This is Michael from Kodama. This is the CEO of Kodama. How you doing, man? I'm good, man. What are you doing here in Seattle? Um, I thought I'd pop by and bring you the V3 version of our Obsidian printer. Well, let's talk about this white one first. So sure, this sure. is the V2 Obsidian prototype 3D printer. Right. And this is the V3 3D printer. Yes, and currently we're working on the V4. Okay. And later for mass production before we ship end of the year, we have V5 ready for mass production. Oh, okay. And so between the V4 and the V5, it's just going to be some minor revisions. We're just going to kind of right. hone it yes, and make yes, it better. Yes. Okay. So the, the Obsidian is going to launch on Kickstarter extremely soon. And... Uh, what you're going, what you see here is the $150 model. Is correct. that correct? Yes. So the original Kickstarter for this machine is actually going to be $49 for the early birds. You're going to get uh, there's some machines out there for $49, just a loss leader. It's okay. The normal price is going to be $99. For $99, you get this machine, but instead of the SD card reader on the front, you're and the screen, you're going to get this little plate covering it. Some people were worried that they're just going to get this with some holes in it, but no. Look at that, Kodama provides an, an extremely nice injection molded? Yes. Injection molded plate, it's really nice. Uh, and then for $250, you're going to get a heated bed and a camera inside, plus access to the application, which will allow you to start prints, monitor prints, and uh, record a time lapse? Right, yes. That's fantastic. Uh, the story is really interesting. And so Michael originally sent me this. It was first with Devin of Make Anything. Right. Devin got it printing. You saw Devin's video. If not, I'll put a link down in the description. Now, it, to me, I I was trying to get it printing. I did have some issues. That's what uh, I was coming up with. I think I was getting heat creep in this machine. So Michael said, how about I fly up, I bring you the black prototype, and how about we get it printing? So sure enough, uh, we've been having our Coca-Colas in the glass bottles, and Michael and I got everything leveled. We got uh, Z-axis set. Temperature set, filament on board. It is now printing my Maker Coin, and I, I've got, I've got, I'm hopeful, Michael. I think okay. it's gonna finish. Okay. How do you like Seattle? I just spent a night here, but I really liked it. Okay, you should come back up. Hello. Anytime you, hey, anytime you're in uh, Seattle, be sure to look me up. You're more than welcome to come over. Perfect. And uh, everybody, you know, Michael joins a very select few people who visited. There's actually now uh, a club of people that are uh, printer manufacturers that have visited my garage. First, we've got Joseph Prusa, Prusa Research in the Czech Republic. We've got John Oli of CBCNC, and now Michael from Kodama. Hey man, uh, safe flight. Thank you, Thank you for bringing this up. Pleasure. We'll make it awesome. Thanks for visiting. Cheers, Pleasure. man. I, I look forward to this. I'll be sure to let you know once this finishes. And then, uh, yeah, thanks for coming up. I really appreciate it, man. When Michael showed up, he did show me this Benchy, and this was printed on this Obsidian printer. It looks a little furry on the inside, but that's okay because it just means some filament settings and temperature adjustments probably need to be made, plus uh, a heat gun and an X-Acto knife, and this would be good as new. One of the things I found interesting about this Benchy that he said was printed on this machine is that there are no reverberation marks all around the door trim. Usually when I see a Benchy, I can kind of shine a light on it. I see some some kind of echoes uh, where the door trim is, and there is none of that on the Benchy. It looks it looks good. Michael did have a plane to catch, so I I started my Maker Coin as he was leaving, 
I didn't have the settings quite right. This is what I had sliced before. I, I used 60 millimeters per second for the print speed. It was a little fast for this machine because the infill in Cura was automatically set to something crazy like 100 millimeters a second. Even with non-optimal settings, this was able to print really well. This Maker Coin looks really good. I did, however, re-slice it. I set the print speed to 40 millimeter, 45 millimeters a second in Cura, and then Cura automatically adjusted the rest of them. And it looks, well, it looks just as good as the one that went too fast. Uh, there's a little bit of pillowing, and I think that's because of the infill being so low. But otherwise, uh, the letters are accurate. The sides look good. They're good prints. The Obsidian itself is very similar to the Trinus in its build area, which I think is 125 by 125 by 120. I was able to get the hot end up to 250 C, and that means you could put PLA and ABS and PETG and some some crazy proto pasta filaments and some wood fills and whatever else you want. Uh, the the extruder here is on the side and it's got a Bowden tube over to this and it looks like it's got Ultimaker mechanisms moving that head around. The build plate itself is not heated in this version, but it is removable. So far, I really like this machine. I think that even though I've only printed a couple things with it, this isn't the easiest print to make. Uh, if it performs as well on the other prints I'm going to do on it as it did on this, I would rate it very high, especially considering that this is a low cost, high performing machine. I believe that a machine like this is something essential to the growth of the 3D printing market and the 3D printing community. Something that's low cost, hopefully easy to use, and performs well is essential for us to grow because this means more people will be getting into 3D printing and able to print, able to make awesome YouTube videos, able to teach others how to do it. This is just the industry growing and I hope this is an indication of where we're going. Obviously I need more time to evaluate this machine, but this is a base $99 machine. So right now this is on Kickstarter. They have some early birds at $49. There's a $99 version, which looks like this, but it just has a plate here instead of the LCD and the holes for USB and the SD card. Uh, for $149, you get what looks like this machine here. Throw another $100 in it at $249, you're gonna get a camera inside that can film time lapses and let you monitor the prints via an app. Plus, that bed will be heated. I know I haven't had this a long time and I know I've just got my two Maker Coins on it, but uh, you know these weren't working on the other prototypes. So uh, I'm looking forward to putting this through the paces. I'm kind of excited to see what it can do. I'm kind of excited because it's a low cost machine that has the potential of performing really well. What do you guys think? Uh, if you're interested, the Kickstarter link is down in the description. It's not a referral or anything. Uh, I'm just doing this because I find this printer interesting and I think you will as well. Beyond that, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell and a big thanks for watching those ads and throwing some money to me via Patreon. Finally, hug each other more because I love you. As always, high five.